Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today, I'm going to share five free game avatar for you for your Unreal Engine game project. And these five avatar are five Asian men. Right, all these five Asian men can represent like Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese, Taiwanese, all of this stereotype. The face, Asian face, East Asian face. All right, so now, in order to get this five free avatar, you can just scroll down, go to my video description to download Download from my Google Drive link. Once you download it already, first you, you will get this five CC3 project. These are CC project in CC project format. All right, next you get your CC3 software. This software is called Character Creator 3. All right, after you get this software, Character Creator 3, what you need to do is just drag in any of the avatar. For example, if I want this avatar, the 02, I drag in, and here I choose Replace All and click OK. Then wait for a while until it is finished loaded into Character Creator 3. All right, now you can see it's already finished loaded. So next, you can see this avatar is Nick, naked. So you have to add a clothes for him in your character creator tree. Just, just go to here, give him a, a shirt. For example, I choose the professional outfit. I choose this, I double click and click OK. It will load the shirt for him. And next, I'm going to give him a pant. So I will choose from here. I will choose professional outfit as well. It is up to you. You can choose any of the, the pants. I choose select B, click OK, and give him a pant. Now, finally, I will give him a shoes. I will just go here under the shoes. I have so many cho choices. For example, essential clothing. I can give him a sport shoes or I can give him a professional outfit here. Leather shoes. Click OK. Now. This is a complete avatar, and in order to send it to your Unreal Engine to make him become the main avatar, now in your Unreal Engine, the main avatar is the Mana Queen, so we want to make the main avatar to become this avatar in your character creator tree. What you must do, the next step is click here, send the character to iClone. Of course, you need to get the iClone software first, and open this software to be ready here. And from your character creator tree, you click send character to iClone. And then wait for a while in your iClone. Now it is loading your CC3 avatar. Now, this avatar already in your iClone 7. And now in your CC3, in your character creator tree here, you can just save the project as a backup. As demo, I will just save on my desktop. This is the Asian man, 02, clothes, with clothes. I save the project on my desktop as a backup, and now I can just close my CC tree, close my character creator tree. All right, now, this avatar is already in iClone 7. In your iClone 7 here, what you need to do is you go and install the iClone Unreal Live link. If you still don't know how to install and set up the iClone Unreal Live link, you can just scroll down, go to my video description here, and then you can just, just go and click this tutorial, how to download and set up iClone Unreal Live link. This is another video tutorial that teach you how to download and set up the iClone Unreal Live link both for your iClone 7 and also in your Unreal Engine game project. 
So before that, you must be ready to make sure that your icon on real life link and it, it is already ready in your Unreal Engine and also in your icon. So now mine is already done, done the installation parts, and now I have the icon Unreal Life Link plugged in. What I must do is go to the scenes, and this is the Asian Man 02. I'm going to rename it here. Double click, Asian Man 02. This is the, the name 02. B, for example. All right, now you go to the icon on real life link plug in. You click the setting first and then untick place assets in scenes. Then you can close it. Next step, what you can do is just untick everything from icon on real life link and only look for the character. The character, you, you take your Asian man 02B. Just tick it and then click transfer file. And just wait for a while, now the file is transferring. It will automatic transfer, it will transfer to your Unreal Engine. At this moment, in your Unreal Engine, you just need to wait for a while until it finish, transfer, it will automatic pop out here. At this moment, please do not do anything, any activity in your Unreal Engine 4. Just wait and hold on until it finish. So now you can see it is transferring. You just need to wait until it finish. Then it will appear here. Just wait. Now it already finished finish transfer to your Unreal Engine. You can see it automatic pop out, pop out at here. It is under the content folder, RL contents, Asian Man 02. You can see. So it is under the contents, RL content folder, then Asian Man 02B, here. So what you need to do, the first step is go and find the Asian Man 02B skeleton. Double click it. You can check, it is already, already exists as a humanoid rig. If you open the retarget manager, it is a humanoid rig, then it's okay. It should not be have any problem. All right, next, you close this. What you are going to do is go back to the content folder and go into the mannequin, character, mesh. All right, inside this folder, you will see the, you will see the mannequin skeletons. You double click it. Here, open the retarget manager and then Select rig, you select the humanoid rig. After that, you click save and then close. Next, what you are going to do is back to the content again. Enter the mannequin folder. Enter the animation folder. And then you should be able to see a third person animation blueprint. You are going to retarget it on your character creator tree avatar. You right click it. Retarget, retarget, click. All right, now, among all the skeletons, you must select your Asian Man 02 skeleton. And then you click retarget. Now, it will automatically pop out and back to the content folder. What you need to do the first is just rename this. Right click, rename, and you add an underscore behind there. Underscore. Asian man 02B. All right, name it properly. This is compulsory. Next, you can see this one. This, this is to hide or show. This is a navigation view. So here, you just need to go back to your RL contents and enter your Asian man 02B folder. Double click in. It is at this folder. You click the little arrow there to make sure you can see everything here. You scroll down and right click, create a new folder. This new folder, you name it as animation. All right, now, to make sure you can see animation here, 
connects you back to the content folder and drag it down. At the same time, you can see the animation there. So you are going to move all this file into the animation folder. You click the first one, hold the shift, and click the last one. Drag into the animation, release your mouse, and click move here. Now all will automatically move into this folder. Next, what you are going to do is go to the content, go to the third person blueprint folder, and enter the blueprint folder. You should be able to see the third person character. Your third person character, you right click and duplicate. And behind here, remove the ones and add an underscore Asian man 0 2 B. All right. Name it according to your avatar and double click in to enter your blueprint. At this moment, you click the mesh, click the viewport. After that, your skeleton mesh, you choose properly, choose the Asian man 01. Sorry, Asian man 02B. Now it, it already changed. And then the animation class here, you, you go and choose the third person animation blueprint, Asian man 02. All right. Now, next step, you click compile, click save, and close. Then you go to the edit. You can see now if if we don't do any setting yet, you play, you play, try to test play the game. Okay. Wait. Now it crashed. I open again and have a check. This is my project just now. Both of this, I just restore it. All right, just have a check. Is that my character still there? Yes, the Asian man still there. All right. So now, if you try to play, the main character is Manoquin. So in order to, to make it become the third person character, Asian Man 02B, you need to go to the edit and go to the project setting. Next, you go to the maps and modes there. Under the selected game mode here, the default point class is the main avatar. You need to choose the third person character Asian man, where is it? The Asian man 02B. All right, this is the one. Then after that, you close it. Automatic will save. Now, if you play your game, you can see this avatar already become the Asian man 02. You must make sure you delete the mannequin that is at here. If you don't delete it, sometimes it will come out as an arrow. Once you play again, the main avatar still the mana queens. You must delete it and play. At this time, you will confirm that this is the, the main avatar of your game. You already changed, changed the main avatar to become your character creator tree, the Asian man 02B. All right, in order to make him become the NPC, you can just simply drag in the third person character, Asian man. 02 and press E to change the direction. Now, so once you play, you can see there is an NPC inside your game. And now you already successfully made this Asian Man 02 to become the main avatar of the game. At the same time, you also make this Asian Man 02 to become one of the NPC in your game project. All right, that's all for today about how to get my my five Asian men free game avatar of the CC3 project and remodify it by giving 
giving them any of the cloth, the clothing, the pants, and the shoes, and then send it to Unreal Engine game project to make him become the main avatar and also make him become the NPC of your game. All right, if you need a more advanced tutorial like the VSAM lip sync, the motions from iClone 7 with the facial expressions, mouth talking animations, facial expression animations, the morph animations, you can, you can scroll down, go to my video descriptions, and here there's a full tutorial. This is a free tutorial on my YouTube channel about how to create the advanced facial expression motion, the body motion, and mouth lip sync talking animations. All right, for today's tutorial, this is a simple one to just make him become the NPC or any of the game avatar. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all this tutorial and sharing are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.